Do you work in DaVinci Resolve and your computer cannot properly handle some types of files or you need to create smaller copies of your files to be able to send them over to somebody else to do the edits? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then this tutorial is for you. Hey everyone, my name is Mariusz Gajdzik, I'm a filmmaker and photographer based in Poland and together with my girlfriend Martina we run a company called Slick Visuals where we produce photo and video content for our clients. With the release of DaVinci Resolve 18, we also get a new app that is Blackmagic Proxy Generator, which will help us create proxy files in a much more convenient way than before. What are proxy files, you ask? Those are a smaller, usually easy to work with copies of the original file that we will be using for editing and then when we want to export video, we will be swapping them for the camera originals for better quality. Or actually, the DaVinci Resolve will do all that for us. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I've prepared that folders for you guys so I can show you easier how that all works. And as you can see, I have the Blackmagic Proxy Generator opened here and I have my folder with the footage we're gonna be doing proxies from. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna show you is the Blackmagic Proxy Generator window and I'm gonna explain what's what here. Here is where you can see all the processing that's gonna happen to your files. And as you can see, I was doing some processing here before, so it shows me what was happening over here. We have a proxy format where we can choose the format of our proxies and we can choose H.264 8-bit. Uh, two options of that, they're pretty much similar as I'm not sure what's the difference between those. We can choose H.265 10-bit and we can choose ProRes 422 10-bit and we can uh, choose if we're working on 8-bit footage we're gonna choose one of those and if we work on 10-bit footage we're gonna want to choose one of those. And here we have the watch folder and here we're gonna have the folders that we wanna add over here and we can do that via this button over here and add and we can add that over here or also we can use the remove or show or the delete proxies or extract proxies over here. I'm gonna show that to you in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna remove that over here because I want to show you the way I'm doing that usually, which is dragging it from the folder and then pressing the start. And I know that I'm gonna use uh, 10-bit uh, H.265 and that's gonna require 35 megabytes for the files that are 900 megabytes. So that's very, very small files for 900 megabyte files. Uh, but you can also use ProRes, which is still smaller, 221 for 900. Uh, so it depends what your computer is gonna be able to work with better. Uh, usually it's ProRes, but I have a computer that is good with H.265. And I'm not gonna be using H.264 because if I use H.264 in 8-bit, it's gonna make my colors and color grading look very, very weird. Uh, so I don't want that. So we chose that now and we can press start and that's gonna start creating our proxy files over here, uh, as you can see. And it works, uh, it goes by 33, 44, 35 frames per second usually goes quicker because I have a screen recording on uh, so it's gonna be a little bit slower because of that and probably you're gonna be able to hear my computer in a minute. Uh, so as you can see one file is already created and it's created over here and we have those files over here in the same folder in the proxy folder. If we want to move that footage, we're going to be also able to move easily our proxy files with it. Uh, so we have the proxy files completed and I can show you now in DaVinci Resolve how that looks. As you can see, the proxy files uh, works for those two files. That file isn't linked yet, uh, but you can see that the proxy files are working because you have that icon over here. Uh, that means that you have your proxy files linked and it also shows in the same way over here. So now uh, we're gonna be able to play that footage very, very nicely, as you can see. And if I switch to originals, uh, which I assign called 
Ctrl O uh, for that and Ctrl B for proxies. And as you can see, it changes very easily. And if you see how that works, that doesn't work too well and not as well as the other one. That's how that looks and that's how the proxy looks. It looks much smoother. So we're going to be able to work much smoother with that footage over here. So now I want to show you that in our watch folder, uh, we have that uh, media over here that is offline and I'm going to link that over here. And I'm gonna put it into this folder and it's gonna be linked over here now and as you can see our watch folder is gonna start processing that now because we put it in the folder that we are watching it uh, so if we don't stop it over here it's gonna create the proxy files from the files we put into that folder so that's useful for when you for example copying the files from SD card to your hard drive and you want to start creating the proxies straight away as well uh, you can just start and the Blackmagic generator is going to create the proxy for every file that's going to add to that watch folder over here uh, so as you can see we link that over here as well so we have that footage I don't know why it shows media offline uh, something is wrong some like error over there uh, but it's all good, it works properly and now uh, we can go over here to our folder and if we delete that file that we just add or if we move it to somewhere else we can see that now we have just the... I don't know why that shows media offline there's something wrong with that file or something like that but we have the proxy files only that's how it shows us that it is proxy file and if we move that file, or actually not, if we go back to the Blackmagic proxy generator and we do stop it uh, because we don't need that anymore because all our files are done. And if we delete our proxies over here because we have the ability to do that in that folder, if we delete that files, the proxy files, it will delete all the files from the originals we have but since I moved this one over here we are still gonna have that proxy for that file that is not in this folder left uh, so we can still work on it and we can still use it to edit and just in case we deleted the original file we have that proxy file so uh, that's a nice uh, fail safe over there and if I open that back and move that over here and now if I delete the proxy file you see that has deleted over here as well so now I'm gonna make those files once again uh, so I can show you how to extract those to uh, for example Dropbox or Google Drive and be able to send them over to somebody else obviously you can just copy that proxy folder over here but there is also, uh, if you don't know where those proxies are and you don't want to uh, show it over here and copy it this way, you can straight away from that, uh, from that um, Blackmagic proxy generator window extract those files to somewhere you want to do that. Uh, just gonna wait for that to render and we'll, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Three seconds left. Can probably hear my computer as well so we're gonna stop that now and as you can see we can then extract the proxies and we can just basically drag that over here I sort of need to show you the uh, path to it and we can basically select anything from here and open and then that's gonna complete in very quickly and as you can see those proxy files are over here as well so for example, that could be um, a folder of Dropbox or a Google Drive that syncs automatically to your editor and you can just sync them like that uh, easily. So this is uh, pretty useful. I hope you now know more about new proxy generator and proxy workflow in DaVinci Resolve 18. And if you still have any questions, please leave them below and I'll try to answer them. 
If you like this video, please leave it a like, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos similar to this one. Please also check out my Instagram where I try to post daily about what's up with me, what I'm currently working on, as well as let you ask questions that I try to answer in my future videos. This is everything in this video, thanks for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one, bye.